This is my 10 years old Core i5, the first generation system. So by this PSU, by this SSD, and by this RAM, and by this graphics card, will I be able to run some latest games? That is my main concern guys. The RX 580 and it's perfectly fit inside this 10 years old system. Yes, Core i5. And uh, I have installed this SSD, you guys can see. Wow, nice. Let me grab this car. And... Wow, no jerks at all. So smooth, guys. This game is running so smooth without having any issues and I will show you either I'm running this thing on uh, 1080p or what I will show you the setting guys setting and then graphics yes so guys can see yes this is 1080p hello hi guys see what I'm filming my desktop my 10 years old desktop why I'm filming my 10 years old desktop because I'm going to upgrade it yes this is my 10 years old Core i5 the first generation system and this is a pretty decent system just a normal system there's nothing is fancy inside there's no graphics card and only 4 gigs of RAM and Core i5 650 yes 3.2 gigahertz of uh, processing speed and this is uh, just a normal PC so now I have decided to upgrade this system because I'm in a mood to play some latest games like uh, games from 2017 18 so that is my main concern like can I upgrade a 10 years old CPU because there are lots of CPU like Dell's HP and they are coming with Core i5 and Core i7 and most of them are 7, 8, 9, 10 years old systems you know and inside the system there is a slot for the graphics card but there are lots of people they are not sure like if we are going to spend that money this will or add some improvement or is this a good decision or not that is the most important thing so that's why I have decided to upgrade this <laughs> old system Core i5 and the performance of this system is still good like I'm not uh, facing any uh, performance lag but if you're going to play some games like GTA 5 or counter strike or you know some latest games so this is very difficult task for this kind of system where there's no graphics card so that's why I have decided to upgrade to a system which can run all these things so the first and the most important thing is the graphics card so what I did I just go to AliExpress and then I uh, you know uh, grab one deal of this uh, RX 580 guys check this graphics card oh my god <laughs> this beast I bought this card in hundred and sixty US dollar and this is RX 580 8 gigs of RAM this card almost two years old so will I be able to put this thing or not that is my main concern so this is this graphics card is a very good price luckily I uh, got this card in a very good condition looks like new but if you are going to buy brand new it will cost you more than $200 so if you want to save some 30 or 40 dollar you can order it from AliExpress but make sure you will get a nice card like this you know 
and in this graphics card you cannot run this graphics card in this normal CPU what you need you need the another this guys yes this is required so you need another power supply which can connect here I can connect I can get power to this card so this is a 8 pin connector so inside in this CPU in this box there is no that graph with that power supply that PSU is not that much capable so what I have decided I have decided to upgrade the normal power supply because I will show you what is inside you guys can check this is simple see this is a simple system nothing is fancy inside this one processor 4 gigs of RAM and this is a normal power supply very cheap power supply of, of 300 uh, watt or 400 watt and see and there is no uh, additional wire that can give power to this card <laughs> so that's why I have decided to remove this power supply so I have to change the power supply and I will add some more RAM because this is only 4 gigs I will add 4 more I will make it 8 gigs and then I have one more plan and that is quite amazing now now nowadays guys these SSDs you know <laughs> these are very cheap nowadays and I bought this thing in 35 US dollar yeah and this is 256 GB wow. so if you have because now I have a normal hard disk this is maybe 20 years old technology you know this is a manual <laughs> inside some manual system you know some moving parts so because of that the PC speed is very slow and this is SSD you know the latest technology and one more update yes that is 4 gigs of additional RAM yes and uh, this is also very cheap only 15 US dollar this is DDR3 4 GB this RAM this uh, SSD and this graphics card so these are the upgrade for this old uh, system in order to play some latest games in 2020 that is my uh, requirement and then I need one more thing yes then I need this PSU guys without this this is not possible and this is 750 watt guys and I grabbed this thing from a local uh, website it's a used item and I pay only twenty dollar in twenty dollar I bought this 750 watt power supply in order to give power to this beast to this graphics card because here in this one I have yes so this is the uh, guys this is the plug so by this PSU by this SSD and by this RAM and by this graphics card will I be able to run some latest games that is my main concern guys so now I will remove this old and crappy power supply and I will remove this hard drive which is very old
the RX 580 and it's perfectly fit inside this 10 years old system yes Korai 5 and uh, I have installed this SSD you guys can see and this SSD is simply amazing by adding this SSD the speed of the system is totally changed so now guys just now I restart this system and uh, now you guys will see the speed of booting the booting speed is totally changed is not like uh, the old speed so now see the system off and it's loading again because now the system is booting from the SSD so SSD the benefit is the booting time is totally you can reduce your booting time now see is Windows 10 and the most important thing is if you have Windows 7 or old operating system just remove it and go for Windows 10 this will also add uh, like you know speed and performance in your system and uh, now this is I'm running the system on 8 gigs with 8 GB of dedicated graphics and on SSD and with power supply so these are the additional now you guys can see is <laughs> ready I will try some game I have installed one game in this system just to show you the performance so and then this is the Grand Theft Auto and then yes it's loading oh error yes it's loading <laughs> now you guys can see now I'm able to play this game and uh, luckily this thing is running after adding this RX 580 in this old system because most of the games you know they don't need CPU they need only this GPU you know so most of the games if you can run this GTA 5 you will get the idea you can also run any other game you know but my main target is to run this game at 1080p you know and I will try 1080p I think now this game is on 1080p and uh, I'm still waiting for the loading <laughs> and still loading Wow, nice. So let me grab this car and wow, no jerks at all. So smooth, guys. This game is running so smooth and without having any issues. And I will show you either I'm running this thing on. Uh, 1080p or what I will show you the setting guys setting and then graphics yes so you guys can see yes this is 1080p good <laughs> okay and what I will do I will run some benchmark test so this is good FPS 30, 32, 33, 34, yes. It's a nice, nice performance. And I think because I'm recording, so that's why the performance is not that much good. But still 40 FPS is fine. Now I think this is the this part I really like. 
Yes. Now we have to catch this jet. Oof. Now the game is running at high speed and there is no jerks, there is no lag in the system. And I will uh, show you the recorded, uh, I am showing you this is the recording, I am recording right now. So I am doing two things, I am recording also and I am running this benchmark and uh, this recording I am recording uh, not from any outside uh, source I am just using the same system so that's why there is a lag in the performance little lag but uh, still is okay so you can play this 1080p games easily 